Hi you guys, welcome to Decor Lab. In this video, we will be showing you another freestanding balloon garland. There are so many different ways you can use it for so many different things. This time, we are going to do flamingo. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to go over the colors of our balloons. Let me show you the first one. So the first color we have over here is the Hot Pink by Taftex. Here we are using two different sizes of the balloons, the 17 inch and 11 inch. We'll put six balloons together in one cluster. Let me show you the second color. The second color we are using is Baby Pink by Taftex. Here we're also using the 17 inch balloons and 11 inch balloons and we put them in the six balloon clusters. One more thing I want to show you is our fillers. For fillers, we are using our five inch balloons and we created the quads out of it. Now let's put our garland together. So now let's put our balloon clusters on a base. For the base here, we are using extended lamp base. To extend the lamp base, we are using two additional sections. If you want to learn more about it, you can see it in the video right over here. So we're only going to spread two balloons and hug, it, hug the base with it. And that will keep our balloons in place. Then we can twist it for the better security. So now it's nice and sturdy. We will be creating a color block, so we will be adding two of each color and then we'll be alternating out going all the way up. So now our base garland is in place. What we're going to do next, we are going to extend it a little bit on top and we will add our leftover clusters to fluff it up on each side. Let me show you how to do that. So we're taking a cluster and we are taking the loop of the 260. We are wrapping the cluster around and with the help of this loop, we are adding that all the way to the top. That will expand our garland. So now we're going to take additional clusters and add them to the sides matching colors. So using the same technique, we are going to loop to 60 and just loop it to the side in your desired spot. So the next thing we are going to do is to add our fillers. Why we're doing that? We're doing that to hide the imperfections and to fluff it up. So again, you can see the imperfections like the base of our garland or to 60s in some spots. So we will be using the same technique for our fillers. Simply just loop our 260s around and add it to whatever spot you want. So the cherry on top is going to be our Mylar balloons. Since our garland is going to be flamingo themed, this is the ones we chose. To attach our Mylar balloons to the garland, we simply put the masking tape over our 260 and just tied it at the end. That created a loop. Now we can take that loop and loop it around any balloon we want. And we did it with all of our Mylars. Do not be afraid to move your balloons around. Because you used to 60s to attach it, you can easily do that. For example, we can move this cluster a little bit up. You can readjust it to wherever you want to, like so. So doing that will help you to balance out your garland so it has the most organic look. And here you have it, flamingo themed freestanding garland. Here we use 116 balloons, we use less balloons because we use a lot of the 17 inch clusters instead of the, all of the 11 inch clusters. We also added three Mylar balloons to finish up the look. If you do want to learn more about balloons, make sure you check out our other videos. And I will see you next time.